Welcome back to Show Me Trucks. In this video, I'm going to make some custom headers for my 1936 GMC. This is hands down the hardest project I've had. And I'll show you how I went from a set of tubes like that, my old exhaust manifolds and a collector, and made these custom headers for the 5.3 liter that are kind of long tube and drop out the bottom. These were the headers that I had on the 67 for the LS and uh, they're stock manifolds. Um, Just take this flange and weld it to this collector. So, I have the first three in, and this last one is definitely going to be the hardest. So it dips down. I want it to kind of angle back and then dip down instead of just kind of having the same flow as the rest. Because the other side has to miss the steering box. Another thing you got to watch out for is I installed all my spark plug wires just so that I could dodge those. I want to be able to pull my spark plugs out without having to pull my headers off. Right now, it's so tight in there, I think I might have to remove my starter to get it in there, but it's not all set up yet, so it could be even worse. And I'm not going to find that out until everything's tacked together. So this is, this is definitely interesting, fun to do, but uh, the bell housing sticks out, so this tube is going to have to turn pretty quick, and then I'm going to stack it on top of this one. That way I have a little room for my starter. I like to not just melt my starter all the time. If you can't tell. There's a lot of just uh, cutting, playing with it, cutting, playing with it. So it's pretty hard to do.
like to explain a couple things on these headers. So, they're obviously a lot longer. If you're concerned about my headers not being all the same length, um, I know this wrap kind of hides it a little bit, but look, the ones that GM engineers designed also are not the same length. So, I'm sure it'll be fine for this 2,000 pound truck. Uh, 290 horsepower is plenty. Header still weighs less than this manifold. This manifold is a tank, so heavy. Um, obviously that's good in some aspects is it's really strong and usually you don't have to worry about leaks with the manifold. Hopefully these headers don't leak. I TIG welded everything and I'm really hoping they turned out good, but it's tons of work. If you are not patient, do not do this project. If you can't use your imagination to think of how to weld up all the gaps, that way they don't leak, I would also not suggest it. I put in a ton of extra work to try to ensure that these will not leak. That's why I welded that plate um, onto the four tubes that go into the collector. Um, I wanted to make sure that there's no way that it could leak. Obviously, it still could. Uh, you know, there could be a pinhole in one of my welds. I try to check everything, go over it. Um, some welds look worse because I have an issue with welding too hot. I'm kind of used to MIG where it's fine. You just kind of lay it in real hot. But with TIG, it uh, sucks in all the oxygen from the backside and uh, causes issues. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Later.